Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the FA-50 Golden Eagle. That would have a crew of two. Dimensions you can see on screen now, a length of 13.14 meters and a wingspan of 9.45 meters. Its role is a light combat fighter and the number built was 82. It also doubles as a trainer as well. Uh, armaments include 120mm cannon and 7 hard points for various mob bombs and missiles. Engine you can see right here, a general electric turbo fan. Uh, performance has a max speed of 1600 at kilometers per hour, but anyways guys, that's it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary Tooper here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Kai FA-15 Golden Eagle. This here is part of a family of South Korean supersonic advanced trainer uh, jets, and it was uh, a joint effort between uh, the Korean uh, Aerospace Industries and Lockheed Martin. Uh, the uh, T-50, which was the kind of the original uh, trainer jet in the F-A-50, is a variant of it. Uh, was South Korea's first uh, indigenous supersonic aircraft um, for trainers, and uh, development began in the late 1990s, and maiden flight occurred in 2002. Um, so it is uh, pretty much uh, used to throughout the, Air the Korean Air Force as a uh, trainer jet, and again, it was a joint effort between uh, the United States' is Lockheed Martin and the uh, Korean uh, Aerospace Industries, or known as Kai. So uh, overall, it's a pretty cool uh, jet. It was uh, definitely a fun one to build and uh, quite interesting to say the least. I liked it. It had some uh, interesting shapes to it, which I think it got pretty close, if not correct. So that's always a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, it's just a pretty awesome build and I uh, love the way it came out. Now, this is a birthday requested vehicle, so I want to go and wish a happy birthday to PA14YT, who uh, requested this for their birthday, which was on the 14th. So it's a little bit late, and I do apologize for that. Uh, just, uh, you know, as I posted my video yesterday and kind of or my video a couple days ago, and actually talked about what was, uh, you know, busy schedule, busy life, stuff going on. So it's a little bit hard for me to get to these vehicles, and of course, I'm doing my very best to get to them. Uh, but uh, very cool vehicle to say the least. Now let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look at it and of course as we always do I'll have a landed and the airborne version for you guys. Uh, so you can see here I have uh, the wings all decked out with a bunch of different missiles and armaments and all that stuff so it's going to look really awesome. Uh, lots of sidewinders I believe uh, this version here of it has a total of six sidewinders as you guys can see these missiles here are my uh, you know, crappy version of the Sidewinder, so I do apologize, but that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, and then you have some uh, extra external fuel tanks from what I believe also on the sides there. Uh, the plane itself, pretty awesome. You got the cockpit, um, you know, the whole fuselage, the whole shabam there. Uh, the wings here, you can see your flaps kind of highlighted. They're down a half seven. and got a little bright there because I went under that uh, plane there, so the shaders kind of went a little crazy. And you got your uh, vertical stabilizer in the rear here and your uh, jet engine on the back. And all that stuff kind of reminds me a little bit of a Korean version of an F-16, I guess. Um, but, I mean, that's just me. Could be, could be just crazy. Yeah, who knows? Uh, anyways, it's a really cool aircraft. It was pretty fun to build. And uh, is a cool addition in our first ever South Korean uh, Modern Warfare um, uh, airplane. I think we might have done a tutorial from the past for the South Korean. It's not 100% sure. We may not have even have uh, done one yet. But uh, kind of nice to go ahead and, uh, you know, do a South Korean aircraft. Break it up a little bit. And I'm going to try to get to some helicopters soon. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of jets, and a lot of people have been requesting jets, but I'm going to definitely do my best to get to them hopefully soon, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, guys, um, that's going to do it for this, and let's go ahead and move into our tutorial. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we're going to go ahead and moving on to layer one. Now, as I do with all my aircraft, I like to go ahead and build the airborne version first, and if you guys are interested in putting a land gear on and all that stuff, I'll be going back to it near the uh, end of the tutorial. Now, uh, if you guys are building this thing landed, you're going to need to build this a certain height off the ground. If you guys are building this airborne, you don't really have to worry about how much clearance you guys have. Just know that this is the lowest point here of the aircraft. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and fly down here. I'll show you guys exactly where this layer is and how high off the ground you need to make this. So you can see you have this, uh, this uh, stone brick stair right here and all that stuff. That's part of uh, layer one. So that is a total of one and two uh, blocks off the ground, the stair here. And then you have two and a half block space between these... Uh, top slabs and the half slabs so you're going to need at least two blocks of height uh, from the ground here from these top slabs that you're going to be placing down so all these top slabs right here should be about two and a half blocks off the ground as you guys can see right there and our ground level would be at this point just to kind of give you guys a nice kind of visual on how much height you're going to need for the landing gear but you need something just like that to have this thing landed and if you guys have that all sorted out and ready to go you guys can uh, go ahead and get started 
Now, first thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to do the very center line of the aircraft. So we're going to place down a stone brick top stem up here in the front. We're really going to place down a stone brick upstairs down stair. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 stone brick top slabs back from the back of this stone brick upside down stair. Going ahead and go into this row of 13 of stone brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to the front up here where this connects up to the stone brick upside down stair. We're going to go ahead and go to your third stone brick top slab. We're going to go ahead and go out on either side of it. So you have two stone brick up top slabs and then you have a stone brick upside down stair. So you want your spacing to look something kind of like that. Then from this stone brick top slab, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven along the side, just like that. So you guys can kind of see here, you have seven stone brick top slabs on the side here, and then a row of 13 across uh, down the very center. If we go ahead and look at it from above, we should have something that looks just like this for the very base of the aircraft. And once you guys have that all finished, that's going to do it for layer one. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer. Now, real quickly, in case you guys are new to my tutorials and you kind of have no clue what just happened in the first layer, uh, I like to go ahead and do half of my uh, vehicles off camera and then the other half on camera to make it a little bit faster of a tutorial and also make it a little bit easier for me to, you know, replicate what I'm trying to do for the aircraft. Since some of my designs can be a little complex at times, uh, allowing this allows me to see the vehicle a lot easier and allow me to make easy... Uh, you know adjustments and be able to see what's going on so if you guys are new to my tutorial basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy what we do on the right side flip it over to the left side and uh, it will be exactly symmetrical unless i tell you guys otherwise now uh going ahead and moving on what we're going to do is we're going to go to the stone brick top side that's on the very front of our aircraft on top of it we're going to place down a polished dance block and then we're going to go ahead and go three out from it so you have this polished dance block on top of the stone brick top side and then three going out from it we're then going to place down two block wool blocks followed by a narrow brick top sub followed by three end rods like that so you should have something that looks like that for the very front. Once you have that done, you have these four polished nanosite blocks. We're going to go ahead and take our polished nanosite blocks and go back. So we're going to go ahead and count from this row of four. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of these polished nanosite blocks back. Or basically in total, 21 of these uh, polished nanosite blocks or if you guys want to uh, count from that row of four, it's a 17 polished nanosite blocks back from this polished nanosite block right here. On the very end of this row, you're going to see that it's going to stick out three past uh, the, this uh, last stone brick top slab here. So that's another thing you can use to kind of make sure that you guys are on target with the counting. And then you're just going to place down another brick top slab on the end of that row, followed by another brick top slab like that for what will be part of our uh, rear engine. Now with that finished, we then want to go ahead and take a narrow brick top set. We're going to go ahead and go to this first black wool block right here on the inner side. We're going to place down a narrow brick top set. Once you have that done, we're going to take stone brick stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven upside down stone brick stairs going back. We then want to take polished dance set. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven polished dance set blocks back. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, stone brick stairs again. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, stone brick corner stair, and then a stone brick top step like that. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and go back up here so you can see we have this row of uh, stone brick upside down stairs. We're going to go ahead and go to the first polished dance block right here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair coming off the side of that polished dance block like so. Then coming off the stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down two uh, stone, stone brick stairs coming off that uh, corner stair. So you get something like that for the air intakes. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back from these corner stairs we're going to place down one two three and four polished dance site blocks we then want to go ahead and take our stone brick stairs and we're going to place down one and two stone brick up sound stairs followed by one two and three stone brick top steps going back like so and that right there guys is going to do it for layer uh one or sorry my bad layer two if you guys are wondering but we will be coming back to the armaments at the later part of the tutorial for the time being we're just trying to get the uh, main fuselage done and all that stuff and of course i'll be going back uh and putting the uh, hard points on with the uh you know, Sidewinder missiles and all that kind of stuff if you guys want to add that on. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for uh, this uh, layer here. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer 3. Alright, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 3. Now, for layer 3, we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, going to our nose of the aircraft and pretty much building off of that. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to take another brick half slab. We're going to place it down on top of this black wool block. After you have that done, we're going to place down another brick stair back from this half slab, followed by a narrow brick half slab on either side of this narrow brick stair. On the back of this narrow brick stair, we're going to go ahead and go back two block wool blocks, and then on this first block wool block on the sides, we're going to place down a narrow brick uh, stair, like that on either side, and then a row of three of black wool directly behind it to kind of create the front nose of the aircraft like so. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here, take our polished dance site blocks, 
and we just want to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Polished andesite blocks back from this black wool block right there. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a black wool block on the end of this row of polished andesite, followed by a cobblestone wall like so. Now in the very center here, um, basically that's going to be in between these two black wool blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down an orange stained glass block, followed by a glowstone block right there behind it to go ahead and pretty much create your uh, rear engine, which should look something just like that. With that finished, we are then going to go ahead and go back up here toward the front. We want to go ahead and go to our third polished andesite block in this long row right here, and we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron trap door and place down an iron trap door coming off the side of it like so. Once you guys have that finished, we're going to go ahead and take a stone brick, uh, stone brick upside downstairs, and we're going to go ahead and place down uh, one, two, and three. Stone brick upside downstairs, going back for this uh, air intake, and we're actually going to go ahead and take this stone brick stair and make this a corner stair. Um, so something just like that. Now from this uh, corner stair right here, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight polished NSA blocks, followed by one, two, and three stone brick stairs, followed by one, two, three, and four stone brick half slabs going back from those stone brick stairs. Now once you guys have uh, that done, we're going to go out to this uh, back of this upside down stone brick stair here. We're going to place down an iron trap door. We then want to take our stone brick half slabs, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone brick half slabs back. And then we want to go ahead and then take our uh, stone half slabs and we're going to place down one and two just like that for the rear flaps, which will be part of the wings. Now, real quickly before we advance more on the wings, I just want to go ahead and go back here to the horizontal stabilizers and just go ahead and finish these off. Uh, they're really simple and I uh, just want to get them out of the way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off with this stone brick uh, half sub right here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five going along the side here like this. So, it's going to end up this first stone brick stair. Then, we're going to go ahead and have a row that goes out again. We're going to place down four, a row that goes out again, three, no row of two, and then one just like down the end there. So, very simple kind of triangle shape there for the. Uh, horizontal stabilizers. Now with that finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and look back at our our wings here. Now we have this row of stone brick top subs right here. We're going to go ahead and count to our third stone brick top sub from this iron trap door in this row. And we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, and five stone brick top subs back, followed by again two stone half subs like that for the rear there for the horizontal or for the uh, flaps. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and count to our uh, second uh, stone brick top sub in this row of five. We're going to place down a stone brick top sub coming off of it, followed by one, two, and three, giving you a row of four, and then again, two stone half subs, just like that. We then want to go ahead and do that same thing again, so a row of four stone brick half, half, or top subs, followed by two stone half subs. For this row right here, we're going to go ahead and go to our second um, stone top sub in this row of four. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four back, so it's going to stick out one back, and then we're just going to place down a stone uh, half sub on the rear, like so. We then want to go ahead and go to our second stone brick top sub here. We're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick uh, top subs back, and another stone half sub like so. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go again uh, with two stone brick top subs and uh, an indent from the fr indent in the front there, followed by a stone half sub like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three here of stone brick top subs, just like that. And then we're going to have an indent from the front there, and then place down two stone brick top subs, like so. And that's pretty much how you do the wings. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and throw on a Sidewinder missile, which I saw pretty much with every single picture I saw of the uh, the um, KAI uh, FA-50. It uh, had the Sidewinder missiles at least equipped on the uh, tips of the wings. Uh, so I thought that it would be a good idea to at least add it anyways, because it seems like it's actually a major part of the uh, aircraft no matter what. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and go to these two stone brick top subs. We're going to place down one and two quartz top or quartz top subs coming off of it, followed by one, two, and three that come out toward the or sorry, my bad, only two more that come out toward the front. So you have a total of four quartz top subs and then two that stick out toward the front. We then want to place down another brick top sub coming out toward the front and then a wither skeleton skull on the very tip there for the sidewinder missile. With that complete, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some um, uh, redstone repeaters and we're also going to need some. Uh, dark oak wood fence gates. Now, uh, very simply, we are going to go ahead and go on top of this quartz top sub here, place down a redstone repeater, flip back a few times like that. We're also going to go ahead and go to the side here of this last stone brick top sub, and we're going to go ahead and just place down a dark oak wood fence gate, opened up um, just like that on the side there, uh, to kind of resemble the fins. And alongside these uh, stone or these uh, quartz top subs and the nerbrick top subs, we're just going to place down signs 
on the inside like this to kind of show out the uh, the track or the uh, kind of like the track or the not really exactly what to call it, but this uh, little uh, support here for the actual missile itself that kind of track it runs on. I guess you can say uh, for when it's launched and I guess just the support in general for the aircraft. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for uh, layer three, and with that, we'll go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer four. Now for layer four, we're gonna start off by going to the very front here for the cockpit. We're gonna place Dianne Nerbacast sub on top of this center uh, black hole block in this row of three. So it'll just a Nerbacast sub like that. Now going back from that Nerbacast sub, we're gonna place down one and two uh, light gray stained glass uh, full blocks. You guys can go ahead and switch it out for whatever kind of colored stained glass you guys prefer. I like the light gray stained glass because I think it looks best in my texture pack. But again, it's up to you guys. Or not my texture pack, but my share pack. Uh, I think it looks best. So it's up to you guys, really, what you guys use. But I'm going to be using light gray stained glass. Uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and leave a space of one, two, three, four, five, and six polished anisite blocks, or a row, just a row of uh, six here, pretty much just air blocks. Really, we're just going to leave the space open. Um, you guys can uh, have a lot of the space dedicated to the cockpit and um, all that stuff. Realistically, the cockpit only goes about back to about this point here, so you can fill in the rest here. Um, but at least leave at least three spaces right here of um, uh, openness so that you could have a cockpit if you guys choose to have it. After that uh, space of three there, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished anisite blocks back. Or basically until you get to this last polished anisite block in this long row that we had in the previous layer. Now, in line with these black hole blocks, we're going to place down another brick uh, stair, come off this row of polished anisite, followed by another brick half sab, just like that on the very end to uh, pretty much go ahead and complete the uh, engine on the back there. Now, if that finished, we then want to go ahead and go back up here to the row three here of light gray stained glass full blocks. We're going to place down another brick half, or sorry, a stone brick half sab on the along the sides here, the first two, and then the third one, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair like this. We then want to place down a stair like so, so we create a corner, oops, my bad, we're actually going to leave this as a regular stair, so you have uh, basically two regular stairs, and then we're going to create a corner stair right here. With that finished, we then want to take our polished anisite, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six of these polished anisite blocks back from this corner stair. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone brick half sabs going back like so. For our next row here, we want to go ahead and uh, go to the left side. We're going to place down two stone half sabs, uh, one coming off the stone brick stair and one coming off the corner stair. On this side, however, we're going to place down two stone brick half sabs. And it's a little bit different because it has this little thing that uh, pops out on the side here. And to kind of show emphasis of something different on this side, I went ahead and put the stone half sabs. But of course, you can make them both the same color on both sides. doesn't really matter, but just to kind of throw it out there, that's why that's there and that's why it's like that. Now, once you guys have that done, we're then going to place down a stone brick half sab after whatever two half sabs you have right here. We're then going to go ahead and take our polished anisite, place down one and two polished anisite blocks, followed by a stone brick stair, and then a stone brick corner stair. We're then going to place down one and two stone brick half sabs. We're going to grab iron trap doors and place down two iron trap doors going back like so. And actually, let's just go ahead and make that one iron trap door going back. With that finished, we then want to go ahead and uh, go out to our two stone brick half sabs right here along the sides of them. We're going to place down one and two uh, iron trap doors. We're then going to take our stone brick half sabs. We're going to place down one and two stone brick half sabs, followed by one, two, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just go with two iron trap doors going back from these two stone brick half sabs, just like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's going to pretty much uh, do it for this layer. A very uh, nice, simplistic layer for us in this uh, layer, which is nice. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our next layer, which will be, I believe, layer five. All right, guys, so going ahead and move on to your next layer. We'll be going ahead and moving on to layer five. Now, for layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the uh, light gray stained glass uh, full block that row three we had in the previous layer. We're just going to go ahead and go to the very center block in that row three, place down one more uh, light gray stained glass block on top of it. Then from this block here, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, and four. So basically, you have a total of five of these light gray stained glass uh, full blocks going uh, back like that. On the end of this row of five, we're going to place down a polished anisite block, followed by a stone brick stair, a stone brick half slab, stone brick half slab, and another stone brick stair. We're going to leave a space of a space open right here. We're then going to place down a stone brick half slab, second stone brick half slab, one, two, three, four, and five polished anisite blocks, and a stone brick up sound stair on the rear, like so. So you should have something that looks pretty much just like that for the uh, rear of the aircraft. And uh, once you have uh, something that looks like that for the center line, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Now going out to the sides from the cockpit, we're going to go ahead and go to where the stone brick stair is, or this uh, second light gray stained glass uh, full block, and we're just going to place down one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass panes along the side. 
We're then going to place down a stone brick stair. After those light gray stained glass panes, followed by two stone brick half steps, going back like that. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for this layer. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our last final layers here, which will pretty much uh, be layers uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We'll go ahead and put the uh, mainly the vertical stabilizer on and also a little bit more to the cockpit. And we'll pretty much be done with the uh, fuselage of the aircraft. And then we'll move on to the armaments and then the landing gear. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to layers um, 6 through 10. Now for these layers, we're just going to go ahead and start off by uh, going to our cockpit. Now on the very center, uh, 3, like raised stained glass full box, in that row 3, we're just going to place down a uh, row 3 and airbag half steps on top of it, just to give the cockpit a little bit more shape to it, and um, so you get, get something that looks like that. Now with that finished, uh, we're going to focus all of our attention for the rest of this uh, these uh, layers here, basically with just the vertical stabilizer. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and go to this row 5 here, polished dance site. We're going to go ahead and go to the second block uh, from the front here. We're going to place down a polished dance site block, followed by 1, 2, and 3, science stain clay blocks, and then another polished dance site block like that. On your side of this third science stain clay block, we're just going to place down a stone button like that on your side. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and go on top of this science stain clay block here, place down a polished dance site block, followed by 3 more that go back, so giving you a total of 4, and then a, a stone button coming off the uh, third polished dance site block uh, from the front like that. Going ahead and going up again, we're going to keep that kind of angle going here. So we're going to go back to the second polished dance site block, place down one, two, and three blocks back, and then a stone brick up down stair like so. On the polished dance site block, right before the stone brick stair, we're just going to place down a stone button on either side of it. Going ahead and continuing up, on top of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished dance site block, followed by two more that go forward, followed by a stone button on either side of that very center polished dance site block in that row three for this layer. The next layer, we're just going to go ahead and, go ahead and place down a stone brick half step on top of this polished dance site block, followed by a polished dance site block on top of this, or next to that stone brick half step like that. So basically, your uh, vertical stabilizer should look something just like that. And once it does, you guys are pretty much done with the uh, main design for the aircraft, which should look something just like this. Uh, if your design looks just like this, you guys are pretty much uh, good for the aircraft. And of course, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and add the armaments on in the landing gear, go ahead and stick around because we'll be covering those next. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to uh, adding the additional armaments onto the aircraft. And uh, then we'll be able to go ahead and move on to the landing gear. So with that, let's move on to armaments. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to adding the armaments on. Now the armaments themselves are really simple to do. It's just a matter of getting them in the right locations. So as you can see on the wings here, I went ahead and marked uh, these... Uh, blocks here to represent where the hard points are actually going to extend down from from the wings. So if you just want to go and take a moment to kind of look at this, you guys can kind of figure out exactly where these uh, hard points are going to kind of come down from from the wings and we'll go ahead and just go to the bottom here and put them on. So you can see here it's kind of on this row right here, this first row of four of uh, stone brick uh, top steps. We're just going to go ahead and go to the bottom here and on the very center two blocks we're going to place down two stone brick calf steps on the bottom of them. Basically just turn them into full blocks and that's going to be our first hard point there. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our first row of three here. And we're going to go ahead and go to the last two stone brick uh, top slabs and just go ahead and turn them into uh, some stone brick full blocks like that. And that's going to be our extra or our second hard point right there. Now, once you have that complete, we are then going to go ahead and work on putting this uh, fuel um, kind of canister thing on the side here, the uh, external fuel tank. Now, for this, it's a pretty uh, simple design. We're just going to go ahead and go to the bottom of this row of four. We're going to place down two polished dance site blocks that go down followed by one more that comes off in either direction, just like that. Now, in the front here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, top sab, or sorry, half sab, and then on the bottom of these, uh, this row of four of polished dance we're just going to place down a row of four of stone brick top sabs to kind of round it out a little bit more. Now, on the back here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and take our stone brick uh, half sabs and go back one and two from these uh, four polished dance blocks. We then want to take cobblestone walls, and on the last three polished dance blocks back, we're just going to take cobblestone walls and put them along the sides here, just like this to give it a little bit more thickness to the uh, external fuel tank. And of course, if you want to, you can take that same design and put it over on the other wing. Now with that done, we then want to go ahead and go to adding our side winders on. So for this, we're just going to place down two polished anti blocks down from these two stone brick full blocks. And we're just going to place down one more that goes out toward the front like that. So you have a row of three like so. Now on the sides here of this, we're going to go ahead and put our side winders on. So we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz, uh, half sabs, some uh, narrow brick half sabs, some wither skeleton skulls, and again, some dark oakwood fence gates, uh, like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and take our um, quartz half sabs, and we're just going to place down a three on your side, coming off of the uh, polished anti-site blocks, like so. 
And then sticking out toward the front, we're going to place down a nether brick half slab coming off the row of three of quartz uh, half slabs. And then we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull on either side like so. Going ahead and going to the back of these side winders, uh, we're just going to place down one more quartz uh, half slab going back from that row of three on either side. And then on the sides here of the missiles, we're just going to take a dark oak defense gate, put it down and have it opened up. So it's just like this on either side. Like so. And in this space right here, we kind of have the compromise since we can only have one stint, one uh, fence gate in that position. We're just going to go ahead and put down a closed uh, dark oak fence gate like that in that space right there. And once you guys have that done, that's going to pretty much show the, uh, the uh, sidewinders pretty much equipped on there. And you also have your external fuel tank. And that's pretty much what I did for the hard points. Of course, you guys can add whatever armament you guys choose to on the wings. Uh, but for uh, what I was able to find, it seems like kind of a standard load uh, to have something like this for this uh, aircraft. Anyways guys, uh, that's going to do it for the armaments, and of course we'll take that same design, flip it over that side, or switch the missiles around or stuff like that to kind of break it up a little bit. Completely up to you guys, but that's going to do it for the, uh, the armaments, and with that, let's move on to the landing gear. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to putting the landing gear on the aircraft. Now we're going to go ahead and start off with doing the uh, front leg, uh, which is uh, very simple. Now, underneath here, you can see basically the blocks I highlighted with uh, purple of what we're actually going to be breaking. So we have a half slab right here. We're just going to go ahead and break this half slab, but it's right before the stone brick stair. And we're also going to break uh, three of these um, polished anisite full blocks to create this space right here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this uh, kind of space right here that's kind of further back uh, from this row three. We're going to place down a uh, stone brick upside down stair like that. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, stone brick uh, half slabs which we're just going to place down a row of two stone brick top subs like that to make pretty much the uh, wheel well um, like that. With that done, we're going to place down a uh, cobblestone wall that goes down from that stone brick stair right here, followed by a quartz upside down stair, and then a quartz top sub on the bottom of that stair like that. On either side of this quartz top sub, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, quartz, or sorry, a block of coal, followed by a stone button on that block of coal. And then coming off the uh, cobblestone wall here, we're just going to place down an item frame with a uh, glass block in it to show the light that would be on the landing gear. And then the last thing we need to do is just take a skeleton skull and come off of this quartz up down stair. We're just going to place down a skeleton skull just like that. And that's going to pretty much make this uh, leg right here on the landing gear. Uh, the last thing we have to do is we just have to take some stone brick stairs. And in correspondence, or in correspondence to the uh, blocks that we broke, uh, we are going to go ahead and go to the stone brick stairs on the side here. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and take uh, three stone brick upside down stairs and place them down like that to show that the uh, hatch is kind of open up for the uh, the wheel to uh, extend down. So something just like that for the wheel. Now uh, that's pretty much how you do the front leg and we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, rear legs. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to the uh, rear landing gear. Now this right here is uh, very tricky. There's a lot, of, it's kind of complex um, to say the least. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this uh, with this kind of portion of landing gear, and I may need to take a few looks here and there just to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, but as you guys can see right here, I went ahead and broke these, uh, these, uh, or I have these blocks right here that we're going to break. Now we're going to break this row right here of uh, blocks, so we probably have a stone brick stair involved in there, maybe some polished anisite, but we need these four broken out, so you have a stone brick stair over here, and then one polished anisite block right there. We then want to go ahead and then break out uh, a row of half sabs on the bottom here, and then another row of uh, these full blocks. We're just going to go and tear that all out and, um, allow us to have a little bit more space. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a quartz full block and place it down in this corner space right here, followed by a quartz uh, top side, which is going to come down like so. Now in this uh, space right here on the bottom of this polished anisite block, we're going to place down a stone brick half sab like so. We're then going to place down two stone brick half sabs that go across like this. And again, I do apologize, I have to take some frequent looks. It's quite complex exactly what we have going on down here. Now in this section here, we're going to place down a quartz full block, followed by a quartz top sub that goes down like that. And then coming off of it, we're going to place down a quartz stair like this. We then want to place down a stone brick half sub in this space right here. And then we're also going to place down a stone brick half sub right there in that space. So you have something that looks like this, and this is where all the legs connect up and all that stuff. Now going ahead and going down from this, we're going to go ahead and go at an angle here from this, um, this uh, top sub right here. We're going to place down a quartz stair like this, with a quartz top sub down from that. Um, or quartz tops up on the bottom of that quartz stair. We then want to go ahead and go at a diagonal again, and we're going to place down a quartz full block uh, coming off at an angle from this uh, quartz top slab. So just like that. Should look something kind of like this. Again, I know it's a little complicated uh, for the landing gear. Then uh, we're just going to place down a quartz top slab on the bottom of this quartz full block. Now with that done, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair, that upside down stair that comes off this uh, top slab of, of quartz, and then a uh, stair like this that comes off the full block. 
And then we're just going to go and do the same thing on this side. So we create our wheel, which looks something just like that. We also want to grab an end rod. And on top of this quartz block right here, we're going to place down an end rod. And we also have to go ahead and take a stone brick uh, stair here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair upside down, uh, coming off of this quartz stair. And then it's going to kind of connect up here again, more kind of supports there for the leg of the aircraft. With that all finished, we can go ahead and put like the hatches that would, uh, you know, open and close up for this aircraft. So we're going to go ahead and go to the top of this quartz upside down stair, place down a stone brick stair. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four that come off of it, giving you a total of five. And then on the last, uh, or on the three stairs that are closest to the front, we're going to place down one, two, and three of these stone brick top slabs on the bottom of the stairs to go ahead and create uh, the little door that would open up on your side. And once you guys have that done, that's going to pretty much do it for the landing gear. You'll take that same design, flip it over to the air side, and you'll pretty much have your real, rear uh, wheels ready to go. And you have your front wheel already set up and good to go. So, uh, anyways, guys, that right there is going to do it for uh, the tutorial for the KA50, or sorry, my bad, the uh, TA50, uh, or FA50, gosh, so bad, uh, the FA50 Golden Eagle. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, a happy birthday to uh, PA14YT for, uh, and, uh, you know, happy birthday, and uh, thank you for requesting this vehicle. Sorry it's a little late, but again, uh, stuff happens, and uh, delays tutorials, of course, and it's a typical thing that does happen. Um, anyways, I do hope that you guys uh, do enjoy the design. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for this. Be thank you for sign the build to link to my channel or this video to those your social media sites. Just be sure you're proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and helps me uh, continue to feel motivated to continue uh, posting these tutorials. And, uh, you know, just please give me credit as long as you guys do. You guys are free to use my designs for whatever you guys want to use them for. And um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.